All right, now that my voice is as good as it's ever gonna get, let's continue playing this game. Last time, if I remember correctly, Mick Foley tried to hit Sean with a 2x4. And yes, the magazine confirms in fact that Foley did swing for the fences. Too bad that fence looked a lot like Shawn Michaels. What do you want, coach? This guy insists on leaving messages, but never wants to voice them. All right, so he's letting us take on John Cena in a one-on-one -on -one non-title match. And yeah, I forgot, Mick Foley is missing. Well, somebody better go find his dusty ass so we can get an apology. Uh, let's leave that to coach. Now, despite that, we got to set our mind on fighting Cena and reading all these messages. Holy shit. So, you got yourself a non-title match against me. Yes. Big freaking deal. Oh. All that's going to prove is you got no business stepping in the ring with a true champion like me. Are you sure about You're that? about to learn a painful lesson, kid. Cena, you might be biting off more than you can chew. Oh, look, it's Foley. Listen. I know last week didn't go like I planned, but you need me to help you out. Uh, Stick with me just until we get the champ's partners out of the way. Once that's done, all bets are off. But until then, you've got nothing to worry about from me. Yeah, I don't know if I can trust you. You damn near took Sean's head off last time. And again with the coach. He's talking about the power 25 again, and I really don't care. All I care about is beating Cena's ass and getting that apology from Mick Foley. And here he goes again with the Power 25 shit. Dude, go away. All right, here's Mick again. You made the right call and I'm not going to let you down. What call? We're going to tear those guys apart limb from limb. I've got your back against the champ as long as you've got mine in my match. Deal? Uh, how about that apology first? Then we have a deal. Coach, again with these paragraphs, I don't like to read. <laughs> oh, I hate this guy so much. It goes back all the way to Day of Reckoning. Ugh. So he's letting us know that Cena's going to have one of his buddies as his manager and that the referee should ring the bell for a DQ if any funny business happens. It's time for the fight. The veteran taking on the WWE champion in a non-title match. So let's do it. Now hold on, be honest with me. Does it feel like they recycle these cutscenes like over and over again? I think we've seen the same setup for every video so far. Someone let me know. This really feels like deja vu. Whining? This happened before, right? It's the champ's job to defend his title at all costs. Any real challenger has to be just as ruthless. This feels too crazy. Finally, after a month of dealing with a tenth henchman, he's finally getting his chance to step into the ring against the champ himself. We gotta test that boy out. But you can bet that it could make him or break him as a championship contender. This is not about making Sean the champion. This is about seeing if Cena has what it takes to lead this company. All Sean is trying to do is pass the torch to somebody. He's trying to find the right guy. Is Cena that right guy? Ever since one night stand, there's definitely been something a little off about Mick Foley. A little? Off? Just say it, JR. This guy's nuts. <laughs> is a terrible idea. But beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, you're right, King. I guess I'm happy to have him here to help Sean, but he's a little unpredictable. And I am still waiting for that damn apology. Hey, Mick. I'm waiting. Oh yeah, it will be. Hold on a minute. I haven't heard anything official about a championship match, have you? Yes. Vengeance is still a month away. No, actually, you know, I haven't heard anything official. But for a long time now, I've been hearing that Shawn Michaels is going to be the number one contender. That he is the number one contender. Then he isn't. So I don't know what to believe. He's supposed to be a contender for the championship. But here he is, defending the champ. He's a part of the John Cena Kiss My Ass Club. Haven't you heard? He's here to keep an eye on his fellow contender. Kenny can keep his eyes on Sean all he wants, but that's not going to make him great. Nothing will. All right, here we go. John Cena is about to take his test. Can he measure up against the Shokan? Holy shit. The Shokan. <laughs> He's Goro, is he, from Mortal Kombat? 
I'm trying to say the showstopper and the icon, but I just merged. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Oh my goodness. Well, John, I hope you know this is not going to be an easy fight. Into the turnbuckle he goes, but the champion fights out. And he just stands there looking stupid. How are you going to beat Sean? How are you going to carry this company by standing there looking stupid? It didn't work with Bret Hart, did it? And it damn sure won't work with you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you, Bret. HBK with a splash, I think. Sean, where are you going? <laughs> this dude is having a nice brisk jog. And now he hits him with a leg drop from the top rope. He's got that finisher. And you already know it's only a matter of time before we see it. Here we go. Sweet chin music. Well, John, you're not looking so good. You call yourself the WWE Champion, do you? I call you an oversized idiot. Now take this. Sean going up again. This man is all about the top rope moves. And he face plants him. Sean knows he can't overpower him. But oh my goodness, suck on that. I thought this man was a Christian. I didn't know you could be doing that, Sean. <laughs> okay. But yeah, Sean cannot overpower this giant dude. Oh shit, arm drag. John knows wrestling moves. This is the first I'm hearing about it. What? All right, Sean. Come on. No. The finish is going to go away. Sean. Come on. Here it comes. And at this point, there's nothing that the WWE Champion can do now. This match is all but over. Give it to him. Right in the face. All right, ref, you know what time it is. And there we have it. HBK pins the WWE Champion. I'm sorry, John Cena, but tonight just wasn't your night. What's wrong? What do you mean by that? Baiting him? What? I see stupidity. What's going on? Is he upset that I asked for an apology? Is that what this is about? And why do all these cutscenes look the damn same? I swear, it's like they recycle the same cutscenes just putting different wrestlers into them. Why? I kind of feel cheated. Well, I guess I shouldn't. It's not like I actually bought the damn game. <laughs> shut up, shut up. All right, let's head back to the locker room and find out what the hell is going on. I really have no idea. Somebody needs to talk to me now. Strange ringmates. First of all, I'm only a little strange. Secondly, I ain't got no damn ring. And lastly, we ain't friends. And you again with the damn messages not voicing them. Look, man, I, I'm not even going to read this. You know what? I'm, no summary, no nothing. Just get out of my face, coach. Hurry up. Anytime now. Thank you. You got to be the dumbest dude I ever met. Bitch. You realize that you're taking on a champ and two top contenders this week, right? Yeah, so what? Because all you got is a washed up psycho watching your back, kid. And that ain't gonna be good enough. Well, he's got much more talent than you'll ever have. When was the last time you jumped off a hell in a cell? This week, there's going to be chaos, devastation, and carnage in that ring. And the toilet. And I've got your back, but keep your distance in the heat of battle. I can't be held responsible for my actions. Bang, bang! It's them damn chalupas, I understand. You can't be held responsible for that smell. It's crazy. Um, coach, my patience is wearing very thin with this reading bullshit, so I'll just do this last one, at least for this episode before I lose my mind. So Sean and Mick Foley are going to be having a two on three match, and the goal is to soften up Cena before the title shot at Vengeance. To be honest, Sean does not need to soften anybody up. But with that said, let's get into this two on three match. We're just over two weeks away from vengeance. Oh, hello, ladies. Room for one more. I'll take your silence as a yes. No, don't run. <laughs> no, that's creepy as shit. <laughs> Dude, get out of there. Hello. I mean, get out of there. Get Leave. This has got to be illegal. And damn it again, I can't pay attention to what the commentators are saying. Shit. Well, I hope you guys caught that because I don't know a damn thing that happened. All I see is Sean in the wrong locker room. Again. Champion, that he 
agreed to this two on three handicap. Now, when do we do that? that? Could be one of the biggest mistakes he's ever made. Only an idiot walks into a situation where the numbers are against him. Yeah, Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. Are you paying attention, dum dums? But no, it takes all three of his opponents just to make a man half as skilled as Shawn Michaels in the ring. So, idiot, I think not. I don't think there's any question that he's worthy of being in the main event mix. Oh, it's true. What happens when he and his partner inevitably have to face each other? Shawn's gonna win. Maybe there's no question. I've got a few questions. Shoot. Like, how come this guy isn't locked up in a padded cell? You know, that's actually a good question. I can't even lie. The damn guy tries to hit you with a 2x4 and never apologizes for it. And he expects you to just go on like nothing ever happened. What kind of psychopath does that? We're only a couple of weeks away from vengeance, and this so-called contender hasn't managed to earn himself a title match so far. Because he sucks. Hey, how about you hold off until this match is over, huh? No. You never know what's going to happen here tonight. He's going to lose. I bet my ass on it. <laughs> oh no, what happens if I lose? Don't answer that question. I think this superstar is going to have to deliver in a big way if he really wants to establish himself as a true contender tonight. What's he supposed to deliver, JR? Some pizza. Could you imagine a giant ass dude like that delivering some damn pizza? Actually, I think there may be a video or two on a not very safe for work site that might have something like that on it. <clears throat> At least I've heard. As involved as he's been in the main event mix lately, this is only the second time the champ has locked horns with his contender. Because he's scared. Smart strategy by the champ. Let your contenders wear each other down and then pick up the easy win at vengeance. Why is Cena being a coward? This is so unlike him. Face Sean like a man. And then get dealt with like a man. Now let's get this oak. Okay, hold on. This is not how this is supposed to go. Oh, shit. There we go, DDT. All right, WWE Champion, you ready to get trained again? All right, Cena, get ready. Sean's about to teach you the art of the count out. This art form only comes in handy when you don't feel like you can beat your opponent straight up. Or like in this situation when you're hurrying up to end this match. Because I'm definitely not doing this because I don't believe we can win this match or anything. Yeah, nothing like that. Damn, a face buster on the steel. All right, Foley, take over. I said take over. No, you're just going to stand around with your thumb in your ass. Sean takes him down. All right, we're up to the count of... Oh, no, there's a big man. Hey, Kali. Uh, dude, I was going to tip you with that pizza you brought earlier, but uh, <laughs> I seem to have misplaced my wallet. <laughs> Up to the count of nine, and Sean is showing off. This match is over. Well, champ, that's two losses to the heartbreak kid. All you've proven here is that you're not ready for Sean to pass the torch to you. What is the same cutscene? What's going on? I think I need some professional help after looking at the same damn cutscene over and over again. And why is it always between these two? They're on each other's side for goodness sake. I do not understand this. It feels like the game is just repeating all the cutscenes and I don't know how I feel about that. Now with that said, that's all for me, Dragon DDT, and I'll catch you next time. Now where the hell's that damn pizza Kali brought here?